Hi guys, my name is Jenia. Welcome back to my art channel. Channel where you're gonna have all type of the contents except art. And this video is not gonna be an exception because we are going to Russia for our four week vacation to see our friends and family in Kaliningrad. And I would like to invite you to this vlog where I'm gonna pack all of these suitcases and prepare uh, our apartment to be rented out. <laughs> so my friend gonna live here for almost one month. You may also notice that my face looking not uh, quite symmetrical because I had uh, my teeth operation and my jaw is a little bit swollen right now. That was quite painful, but uh, now I'm um, recovering. It's already third day and this is not an excuse to skip this video. So I'm gonna film it anyway. I'm still beautiful, right? Mm, what else I wanted to say? <laughs> I don't know, let's uh, jump to the video! So, it's a day one and I start packing a suitcase with the gifts. <laughs> Ilya and I haven't seen our friends and parents in our two years no, because of the pandemic. <laughs> in the fall and winter of 2019, um, we uh, pretty much enjoyed warm memories of summer vacation we spent with our families and we also planned many reunions in the spring of uh, 2020. Both parents, uh, his and mine, were scheduled to visit us in Berlin in March and April 2020, but... You know, <laughs> what's happened? Um, then we waited for vaccination to start. And by the end of July uh, 2021, we were both vaccinated. But um, unfortunately, we weren't able to rent our uh, kind of dream house in Kaliningrad until September. Um, all in all, um, it came out to be a long way to see, um, to see our families and friends. And I really like to give gifts. Uh, you can see that now. Almost the entire um, contents of gray suitcase are gifts to friends and families. But maybe it's some uh, kind of compensation. Maybe it's my um, feeling uh, guilt <laughs> that I um, immigrated. So when we moved to Germany in early 2016, we of course hoped it would be forever, kind of, but we already knew for sure um, that it's going to be a long time. We were saying goodbye to our friends, family and <laughs> other loved ones, but it seemed like it wasn't some kind of a game where you go through a level and then you just change the location, but if you want it, you could go back and um, then load the map uh, um, from the same location and nothing would change. But um, unfortunately, the file doesn't stay the same when you're not playing it anymore. And the life of your loved ones um, doesn't stand still. Friends uh, could find new jobs and new partners. Um, grandpa gets old, parents get sick. New people um, are born, someone dies, everyone celebrates birthday and new year without you. <laughs> and it's sad. Um, Ilya doesn't feel it um, so strongly, but uh, I think about it uh, all the time. So if I knew the price of immigration, would I have moved to Germany? This is not something they write articles about, kind of how to move to another country you get a lot of advices on how to get a visa or find a job, um, how to rent an apartment in a new city or how to make new friends. I like my new friends, but my old friends are cool guys too. <laughs> um, but for some reason I haven't seen any articles on how to maintain really close relationships when the uh, geography and context um, has changed so um, so much. In general, no, I don't regret moving. I wouldn't chose to live a different life um, if I had the chance, but I would want to know uh, what awaits me, how much I would miss um, and how much it would hurt um, not to see my family in two years or how hard it will um, be to communicate remotely with people who don't like Skype or FaceTime or social medias as my sister, for example, or 
um, that we will get such a funny things um, like a global pandemic. I know people who go to their hometowns um, several times a year and <laughs> some of them even more often. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't live that um, lifestyle. Um, I'm an aerophobic and we don't always have the extra money to go by train. And sometimes the trains don't even go, like <laughs> right now, for example. Um, plus, you have to love the feeling of being on the road and all that kind of thing. And I, 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 I honestly, I don't love it. I get very anxious when I have to go on the trip or even on vacation or to Moscow or on a business trip. I can't live <laughs> in two cities uh, and I had to choose one. I chose Berlin and every day I take um, responsibility for my kind of sadness for my um, feeling of guilt, um, for the fact that I missed a lot. And I cry every time I meet and then separate <laughs> from my family and friends. Uh, immigration is hard and it's different for everyone. For me, it's like this. So guys, if you finished watching and listening to this point, um, tell me how you're feeling. Maybe you would like to immigrate someday or you already moved to another country. How do you deal with feeling of sadness uh, for your loved ones? And if you're not really into talking, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video to the end and for your like um, and uh, comments and other support. Thank you so much, so, so, so much. Thank you. <laughs> I hope we see you pretty soon. Bye.